So guys, welcome back to another video. Today is Tuesday, so you know what that means? That means it's Team of the Week predictions time. So, Team of the Week 13 is coming up on Wednesday. Who do you think will feature in it? Let me know in the comments below. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome too. And that's pretty much all the standard intro stuff out the way. Intro? Intro stuff out the way. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, this week we start off with two goalkeepers. I've gone for Sorrentino of Chievo, who made nine saves in a 0-0 draw against Roma. And then the other goalkeeper, um, I have no idea how to pronounce that name, but he made nine saves and kept clean sheet in a 3-0 win. So, I think both goalkeepers have got a very good argument to get an inform this week. The defenders are up next, and we have five of them. So, I've started off with Masuaku, the West Ham defender, Got a pretty good match rating in their 1-0 win against Chelsea. Now, in that game, Arnautovic scored the goal. However, I'm unsure whether he'll get the inform for scoring one goal, especially considering he's already gotten inform. So, do you really want to give a second inform to an attacker for scoring just one goal? I don't know. Anyway, I've gone for Masuaku. Next to him is Otamendi. Now, this would be a second inform. He scored the match-winning goal in the Manchester derby, so I would not be surprised to see him inform this week. Next to him is Nacho Fernandez, who got himself a goal and helped keep a keeper clean sheet in a 5-0 win for Real Madrid against Sevilla, and that looks like a pretty good card. Um, on to the bottom two now, we've got De Jong of Ajax. Ajax beat PSV 3-0, so I'm definitely expecting an Ajax in form, and I've gone for De Jong, who I believe got man of the match. He also got an assist in that 3-0 victory. And finally, the Silva scored twice in a 3-2 win. Conceded two goals, but scored two. Two goals for a centre-back. That should be an inform, right? Moving on to the midfielders. As you can see, we've now got eight on the screen. Some of them looking pretty good. Some of them looking, eh, not so great. We'll start off with Saul, who could see his Path to Glory card upgraded. He got the only goal in a 1-0 win for Atletico against Real Betis. And we've got Quinta Promes, who could get himself an inform. He scored twice. I, I think he will get this inform. He scored twice in a 3-0 win in the Moscow Derby between Spartak and CSKA. Bonaventura, this in form looks awesome, scored twice in a 2-1 win for AC Milan. Hopefully that in form happens too because, yeah, that card looks great. We have Bell Hander of Galatasaray. He got a goal and an assist in a 4-2 win for them. And then onto the bottom row. Pretty exciting card here, Elton. I always like his cards in FIFA because he's so quick and so good on the ball. And obviously we all remember that extinct team the season card that he had in FIFA, I think it was FIFA 15, but anyway I'm rambling, Elton got himself 3 assists in a 3-2 win for his team, hopefully that in form happened. So, moving on we've got this El Kayati who got himself 2 goals and an assist in a 3-2 win for his team, the Leon midfielder, our, I don't know how to pronounce this, our, I'm really unsure about that, but anyway the Leon midfielder scored 2 goals in a 2-1 win. And then finally, we've got Kamara Roof, who got himself a hat-trick in a 3-1 win for Leeds. The final page, of course, features the attackers. And we'll start by talking about Jersey Altidore, who I think is either going to get a hero card, a man of the match card, or an inform, or some form of special card. He got the opening goal in the MLS Cup final as Toronto beat Seattle 2-0. In that game, Giovinco got an assist, and I think it was Vasquez got the other goal. But I think we're going to see a special Altidore card. I don't know if it'll be an inform man of the match or hero, but you know I think he'll feature. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Next to him is Hyun Min Sun. Now, let me put it out there. I am not confident about this one at all, but it could happen. And if it does, it will be a very, very nice card, but also a pretty expensive one. He got a goal and an assist in a 5-1 win for Tottenham against Stoke. Di Maria could get an inform. He got a goal and an assist in a 3-1 win for PSG against Lille. And then on to row number two, we've got Peterson, who got a hat-trick in a 4-3 win against Cologne. Now, two of the goals were penalties, but there has not been many hat-tricks this week, so I don't think that will matter. We've got Jermaine of Marseille, I've probably got his name wrong too, who scored twice and got a very good match rating in a 3-0 win against St. Etienne. We have Mooney of Huddersfield, who scored the two goals in Huddersfield's win against Brighton. And finally, we've got Porto's Abu Bakr, who could get an inform for his hat-trick and an assist in a 5-0 win for Porto. And hopefully that inform happens because Abu Bakr in FIFA is always so overpowered. So, 
you know, fingers crossed for that inform. The final player we're going to talk about today is going to be Bournemouth's Jermaine Defoe, who scored twice and got man of the match in a 2-2 draw. Now, normally I wouldn't include it because of it ending as a draw. However, the quality of goals was very high, so I can see Jermaine Defoe getting in. Also, on top of that, there weren't too many hat-tricks this week. There weren't too many uh, strikers who outscored Defoe, so he could get in. Anyway guys, those were my predictions for the upcoming team of the week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. And apart from that, thanks for watching. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.